My name is Brittany Lamont and I'm going to show you how to use the free computer app called Picasa. Picasa is a photo editing tool with many great features that will be valuable to both students and teachers in the classroom. The first step to using Picasa is to download the app onto your computer. To do this, go to google.ca, click on the app icon in the top right hand corner, choose Picasa, and then click download. Downloading Picasa could take one to two minutes depending on the speed of your computer. For this tutorial, I already have my Picasa app downloaded. The neat thing about Picasa is once it is downloaded, it takes all your existing picture files on your PC and automatically organizes them into visual picture files for easy access. Once you have successfully downloaded the program, choose one picture that you would like to edit. To do this, you double click on the picture you have selected. Once you have double clicked the picture, a sidebar will pop up showing you several different editing tools. And there are five. Commonly used fixes, lighting, fun and useful processing, more fun and useful processing, processing, and even more fun and useful processing. I am going to show you three examples of the Picasso editing tools. The first one is I will crop. To do that, you click on the crop section and you have the option of doing it manually or what Picasso can do. But I want to do it manually. So I'm going to click manual and I'm going to crop my picture. Once you like the way you cropped your picture, you hit apply. Another tool I'm going to use is called sharpen. So I'm going to click on the sharpen icon. I can adjust it to the way I like it and I'm going to hit apply. The third one that I'm going to use is called well let's do a border and I can pick any color that I like um, there. then I can hit apply another neat feature that Picasso offers is the option of creating captions for your pictures to do this you simply click on the caption box located at the bottom of the picture and then begin typing the caption you wish to include. You also can choose the way your photo can be viewed. For example, by pushing these buttons at the top, you can have a single view, you can have two different pictures, or you can have the same picture twice. Um, if you want to take someone in your picture like you do on Facebook, you click on this person icon and since I don't have a picture I can't take but if I did have a picture such as this one I click on the person over here and type in a name to share your photo to all your Google friends you click on the share icon and it will share it on Google I encourage you to try all the features of this app by trying all the various options on the editing toolbar. Picasso is a great tool that will help you organize, edit, and share your pictures. The, possib the possibilities for its use in the classroom are many. Students can make digital stories, make slide presentations, and create digital portfolios for their classroom memories and school work. Picasso can help students record a field trip, group projects, or individual activities that they can later share with their class or with their parents during parent-teacher conferences or an open house. The cast is also recognized in the grade 2 and 5 arts ed curriculum. Every subject can benefit from Picasso. History can take on a visual appeal with students using Picasso to create his, an historical album featuring pictures of themselves in period costumes. They can use tools to edit the picture and to help it make look authentically old. Teachers can use this app to bring visual interest to their, to their lessons and help keep their students engaged. I hope you will enjoy using Picasso as much as I do.